You know what, Javier? Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. Today we are going to talk about family bonds. All right? So, All to right. start, here we have a very nice, beautiful phrase. Could you read it, please? Could you help me reading? Uh, we may not uh, have it all together, but together we have it all. Excellent. That's beautiful, isn't it? What do you think about yeah. this phrase? What's, what's your opinion? Okay, uh, it's a... Uh... Uh, it's a family, no? It's a, it's a good, no? It's a, it's a, it's a uh, this um, uh, excellent message. Uh -huh. uh, um, Because uh, I suppose the out uh, the family uh -huh. and problems. Yes. Uh -huh. So it means that when maybe we don't have money, maybe we don't have material things, but when we are together we don't need anything else family is the most important well yeah. that's what i understand yes i, I agree <laughs> all right it took to me about your family where where do you live where are you from do you live with your family okay um uh, 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 my, my wife is uh, uh, is from Mexico City. Okay. And my uh, my my mother from she's from the Puebla. Uh, my father he he is from Guanajuato. Um, uh, I have uh, two sisters and one brother and, and one brother. Uh, they are from Mexico City. Hey, that's great. Okay. And uh, now let's see. Let's go to the next image. So um, how, how near are you from your family? Maybe sometimes we live apart, we live very far, but we have communication, maybe by social media, uh, maybe by any social net like WhatsApp. So what about you? Um, um, I um, I am Uh, okay. Uh, 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 I I I I near. Uh, near. I live near with my mother. Move to my mother. Uh -huh. Um. Uh, I, uh, Uh, and I live in my apartment with my wife. Hey, that's great. And do you have communication with your mom? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, all all day I um in the um, we, talk. we talk with uh, in the, in the morning and the evening. Yes, it's um always <laughs> talk to so my constant. mom. Yes, yes, content. 
Hey, that's great. All right. So please, Javier, could you do me a favor? Uh, could you select one of the, the pictures in here, uh, in the page? Uh, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five pictures. Select one and describe it. Describe it in the chat. Let's write, okay? So that I okay. can give you feedback with grammar and spelling. Okay. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, pretty well, Javier. You wrote in picture number three. They are five people. Excellent. Where are they from? Uh, uh, are they father, mother, grandparents? Uh, uh, give me. The Tukisa is, uh, I suppose, uh, they are from the Asia? Uh -huh, they are Asian. Asian, sorry, Asian. Yeah, maybe, maybe they are Japanese, Chinese, Korean. Japanese. I don't know. Thai. Yeah. Um, uh, grand grandfather. Uh huh. Grandfather and uh, I suppose that the grandfather and the uh, dowager and and kids as a. Kids, the uh -huh, they are how many kids can you see? Uh, two kids, excellent. Yes, they are yes. beautiful kids. Beautiful, kids. yes, yes, it's a grand, grand family, uh, Asian. Okay, uh, thank very you. Very funny, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are nice. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. So look at this, Javier. Now, what is the difference between this family and this one? Could you describe this, the differences between these two families? Uh, yes. Um, Uh, the, the 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 family one is from American and is small. It's uh, 
a small. Okay. Um, the the as um as the father, father or mother and, and children. Okay. Yes. Two people, the same. Two people, two two kids. The, is the the same and the action. Is uh, she, uh, a little family? Aha, uh -huh, small family. Small, yes. Um, but the um, uh, the the picture on uh, um. The, the doesn't exist the grandpa don't exist the grand grandpa grand grandmother grandmother yes uh -huh, okay um, Uh, they look happy. Excellent. Okay. Um, okay, that's it. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Uh, this is about uh, this beautiful family. And here we have a big family. So where, where do you think they are from? We are talking about this family. It's picture number four. Let me write the numbers of the pictures so that we don't get confused. All right, number two. Here we are, number three. Okay, here we are, number four. And finally, here we are, number five. Okay, what do you think about family number four? Okay, uh, I, it's, it's difficult because uh, the, in this life is pos it's possible the from Mexico and the on the other and the other side is possible that the uh, ocean. O o ocean? ocean. Yes, ocean? maybe. Yes, it may be. You know, um, it is not important the information if they are Asian or if they are uh, German or whatever. Here, the most important is that you know how to express your ideas, how you use the language. So if you say that they are uh, Asian or that they are Japanese, it's okay. Uh, well, not not okay because they don't look like Japanese, <laughs> but yes, because you know what? They could be by Morocco, they could be Hindu, they could be Pakistani, uh, they can be Mexican, we don't know. But uh, the most important is that you express your ideas and that you know how to describe. Okay, so it's okay, don't worry. Oh, um, tell me. Are they many people? Is it a big family or it's a small family? Big big family. Yeah, that's it. How many people are there? Thirteen, the two people or the two family, the people. Uh -huh. Yes, that's it. And tell me, is there any any grandparents there? Are there any grandparents? Yes, yes. Uh, in the for uh, in for, uh, the one grand grandparents. I don't suppose two two grandparents. I suppose the uh, 
uh, holidays uh, is possible. Uh -huh, maybe it is a birthday. A birthday, or yes. Any celebration. Celebration. <laughs> That's it. Okay, Javier, please tell me, in your family, is there any important celebration? Uh, yes, it's, it's very important celebration. Uh, uh, the, the, the important, more important celebration is the birthday of the mother or the grandmother or or my my my, my wife <laughs> is uh, important to celebrate. Wow, yes. hey, that, that's beautiful. All right. And uh, tell me, now let's go to see another image. So look at this. Here we have some beautiful moments uh, where the family is together. For example, here they are having dinner together. Do you have dinner with your family? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, uh, um uh, um always uh, uh friday in the night um uh, mm, mm, mm. we have a dinner hey that's great that's beautiful do you consider that it is important to have dinner together uh yes it's, it's, it's important be, because um uh, 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 we can search a moment we 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 talk of the problems of the uh, the ideas that the in, in the ideas that uh, that uh, that the um, I don't know the the, the with, with 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 family and it's uh, uh, We talk uh, topics uh, uh, of the situation that the uh, that the uh, situation on my country. Uh -huh, that's it. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, another question: How do you get along with your family? I am going to write the question on the chat so that you can understand much better. So here we go. Is how do you get along with your family? Uh, family. Okay. How do you get along with your family? Do you get along fine, well, or do you argue? Do you fight? Uh, uh sorry um uh, in uh, in the chat um I, uh, yes yes please let's let's write in the chat okay uh, please repeat the 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 the, the, the activity uh, 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 yes please write in the chat how do you get along with your family if you get along well or maybe you argue, you fight constantly. How do you get along?
Okay, pretty good. We are friendly and also we try to help uh, to work here. You know what, Armando? Uh, the correct is we try to help each other. Each other means one to the other. Look at this. Here I have an example of that word. Each other. Okay. Uh, each, other. Here. each other. Okay. Each other. So okay. now let, let's go to this phrase. Look at this beautiful phrase. What do you think about it? Uh, So, sorry, I don't start the message. The, the, the... Uh, let's translate it together, okay? So yes. it says, El lazo que une a la verdadera familia uh -huh. no es. No es. No, no es el lazo. lazo. Uh, no es de sangre. Sino ah, no de... es de sangre. The, uh, but the respect, the respect. Uh -huh. respect. Y alegría. Uh, uh, unos a otros. Uh, en la vida de unos con otros. Ah, uh, la vida de unos con otros. Uh, okay. So, what do you think about that phrase? Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's... Um, uh, uh, because it's true. Uh, normally, not import the the blood is you know the uh, the love in the family. Mm -hmm. It is not a warranty, no. No es una yeah. garantía. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That we love each other or that we help each other. Sometimes uh, people get more help more respect and more uh, <clears throat> understanding from people different people apart from the family and so that's a, something so curious well for me this is strange okay yes, yes, of course, yes. but the most the most better part is <clears throat> if you <clears throat> love each other if you help each other and you uh, are linked with them because of blood bonds it's next it's beautiful no so you are a very good family yes 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 hey that's excellent thank you very much okay let's go to another picture look at this here what i try to show is that uh, we can have some activities together in this case, for example, we have parents and children. They are doing the household chores. Do you consider that it is important that children help in the in the chores around the house? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, I think that the it's very important uh, the rules the house that the children help uh, in the activities of the house uh -huh, that's it you know what when children help their parents to do some activities or they have responsibilities at home uh, they are more independent because they learn to do many things by themselves and they are more ordered, they are more uh, responsible, they are more empathetic. So it is, well, in my point of view, it is very important for children's development, uh, the way they develop their personality even. So yes, of course it is important. Now, can you tell me, is it's important that children go together with their parents to do some activities, for example, going to libraries 
or uh, playing some sports? Is it important? Yes, it's, it's, it's very important. This is this these activities, because um, I think that the um, um, is uh, um, uh, I think that uh, uh, the uh, the is uh, uh, for, for example uh, exercise. Um, this is find of the keys for the uh, health, uh, um, health and the health that the car to take care of their health. Yes, yes, to take care of the health. Yes, excellent. Yes, of course, you're right. You know what? I would add up something else. Uh, children learn by imitation. So if children see you doing exercise, it's very possibly, it's very possible that they like to do exercise when they get older, when they become adults. Uh, if children see you reading, of course they are trying to imitate you. And so they may uh, really enjoy it when they visit a library. If children see you cleaning, they learn to be ordered. But if children see you drinking alcohol, smoking, or using some substances, being a rude person, of course they learn how to do it also. So, well, in my point of view, the example that we can give to our children is basic. It's really important. So look at this. Could you help me reading this part, this, this text? Yeah, yes. If we are not consistent, if we are not consistent with limits, children spend a lot of time trying to find out where the limits are. Excellent. What does it mean into Spanish? Okay, um, what does this mean in Spanish? Well, it means, yeah. eh, si no somos constantes, constantes con los límites, los, limites, los, los niños, niños pasan mucho tiempo tratando mucho de, de encontrar de afuera los límites. Los límites. Ajá, pasan mucho tiempo tratando de encontrar ¿Dónde están los límites? Limites. Uh, where the limits are, yes. Uh -huh. So, to set the limits in a, a child behavior is really, really important. We all need limits. If we don't have limits, we don't have a direction, we don't have a, a conscious about what we are doing. So, limits are necessary. Tell me, Tyler, do you have children? Uh, so repeat is the good the, the communication. Oh yes. Hello. Do you have children? Do you have babies? No, sorry, uh, no, uh, no, no, I don't. But but the my wife in this moment uh, is, pregnant. is pregnant. Wow! A hey, beautiful congratulations to you. <laughs> That's, thanks, thanks a lot. That's beautiful. You know what? Mm, I would like to tell you that being a parent is the most beautiful experience ever. I, I could talk to you about it because I am a grandmother. I have three children, three young adult children, and I have two granddaughters. So for me, it has been a great experience to be a mommy. 
and something that I learned, not only as a mommy, but also as a teacher, I have been working in kindergarten, elementary school, secondary school, preparatory school, and guess what? This part of being consistent with limits is really, really important. Many of the problems that we have detected uh, with our students are because of the necessity of limits. Uh, nowadays, we don't want to, to cope with educating children. If they cry, we give them everything they want so that they don't cry because we don't want to, to solve the problem. Uh, just make them stop. No more cry, please, silence. And so that makes the children feel alone. They feel that there's nobody else with them because nobody tells them where to go, what to do. So yes, it is really important that we establish limits with children. I'm going to show you something that is going to be terrifying, really terrifying. When we don't set limits, children don't know how to respect. And when we permit them to do things out of the limits, we are lost. So children can be, well, children are angels, but they can also be emperors if we leave them be. So that's why my advice, learn when to set limits. What's your opinion about this? It's, it's very important, the limit, because, uh, 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 because, uh, because the, 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 the children, when, when, uh, when, when the children don't respect other people, uh, uh, it's very possible that continue in the life um, uh, the situation and it's, it's, it's bad, uh, no, uh, uh, but it's bad. Uh, they, they could be bad, uh, the, the, the people. Yes, that's it. The problems are going to be theirs. And just because we didn't want to, to have the problem to solve their behavior. So yes, it is necessary that we do something for our children. And family is the principal, the principal institution where children learn how to respect, how to be generous, how to to be clean how to be respectful and so yes that's so 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 important in all the society yes, yes I, I agree i i i, I agree yeah that's With it you? yes <laughs> yes it's, it's important yeah. Uh, 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 I think that the problem in, in, in the world is 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 um, is the um, Uh, the, the children don't have rules. Uh, um, this is, 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 is a, a lot of problem in the, in the situation in this moment in the family, because mm -hmm. uh, the the children uh, uh, always uh, 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 they play video games and these video games is is. Um, is uh, fight is uh, the 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 video game of the the fight of the is um, 
Uh, when you say uh, violentos, uh, violent, by violent, yes, video games and watch to be uh, all violent, violent, um, the 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 kids, um, um, uh, the kids, um, the the kids, they are same that 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 they look in the. In the in the TV or in the video games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking even again about imitation. Imitation, yeah. yes, imitation, yes, thanks, imitation. Yes, children imitate what they see. That's so dangerous. So dangerous. It's bad. Yes, it's, 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 it's dangerous. All yeah. right. Well, you know what? I think that we parents have the responsibility to establish those limits and to say, okay, this program is on fashion, but guess what? No more. Daddy, yes. but no, you are not going to watch this program or this, this toy is so, so fancy, but not for you. Yes. Uh, what? <laughs> I am going to confess you something. In my family, we don't have a television. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> we don't have a television because we consider that many of the programs that are on television are very violent and very biased. So we have only one child, my granddaughter. She's eight years old, but we consider that it is not necessary that she suffers the influence of the programs. So, she, of course, she, she watches programs, she watches videos by YouTube, but we supervise what are the videos that she can watch, uh, what, are, what is the music that she can listen. And I think that it is so nice because she is growing up as a critical person and of course she watches cartoon but we control what kind of cartoon she can watch and so we think that she is growing up uh, thinking about what is good and what is not good uh, she knows how to discriminate about a good behavior and a bad behavior so of course maybe it sounds like radical but for us it works I, I agree. I agree completely. I agree. Uh, it's uh, um, the, the, uh, the, uh, I agree uh, uh, because um, the, uh, the, the television is uh, in this moment. Uh, I think that the um, uh, uh, the message is not correct. It's the measure is uh, violent. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, sex. Uh, it's uh, yeah. drugs. Drugs. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's very difficult. That's it. And even she doesn't have a cell phone. Uh, when she wants to watch any video, her father her father gives her his cell phone, so that we can have the history of the search in Google and we can monitor what kind of videos she watches. And if she's watching something that is not proper, we talk to her and we say, no baby, don't, don't watch this because it is not proper for a baby of your age. And so she understands, she says, oh, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Or even she says, help me because I want to watch Masha and the Verb, for example. And I don't want some of those uh, bad videos to appear. And so for, for us, it is good that she wants for help. She asks for help. That's important. All right. Well, Javier, I, I think that we could be talking a long, long time about this topic because it is very important. And it's very interesting. But guess what? We have finished today. Uh, yes. so, 
Okay, I, I want to uh, thank you for your participation, for your attention, of course, and your attendance. And meet you next class. Have a very good night. Yeah, good night, teacher. See you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. It's a Thanks very you. interesting class. See oh. you. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.